In this video we're going to discuss the measurement configuration. This can be found in settings in the measurement configuration tab. A number of options. One is averaging. If we set averaging we can now set the number of points we wish to average over which can reduce the vibration effect in the background. Background noise. 10 is a useful number to start with. You can switch that on so it's averaging over 10. Or disable it. We can output as a gradient instead of arc seconds. This is millimeters per meter as opposed to arc seconds based on five microns per meter being one second. You can change the number of decimal places. Here we have set two and we can go back and set that back to the default value of one decimal place. B minus A is used when you ha are using it in differential mode with two tally valves. This is to have a reference and a measurement tally valve. If the main structure could be moving like um, a work table as the instrument is moved around, if that moves with respect to gravity, we can monitor what that movement is being made on one tally valve and keep that static while the second one does the actual measurements and that will track any movement of the table and work in differential mode. The file that you save can be saved uh, by typing in the file name itself. If we take a measurement I can type in demonstration 1 and that is its file name. I can also auto-generate a file. So now when I save the file name it will auto-generate a date and a timestamp for the CSV file. If I want to give more information I can put a file name on there which might be test1 and with the auto-generation on as well that will now give me test1 with the date and the time appended to it. These are the functions of the measurement configuration.